What's going on folks? Welcome back to the channel. Really do appreciate you being here. Today is episode number two of the Pokemon Fund. If you haven't checked out episode one, where I'm actually taking you through what is the Pokemon Fund, well, go check it out here. Go watch that one first. Otherwise, we're going to dive straight into this and we're kicking off with this... Who's that Pokemon? Um, Darkrai premium collection and this is the dark road v star set so we're kicking off with this today and the whole intention of this is to really see if we one we can actually find any cards that i actually need for my own sets but really just see if we can make any money back on the purchase of this set now to be clear i did pick this one up from big w i was able to pay i think it was yeah 44 dollars this was on clearance actually and that is the whole purpose of trying to leverage cheap things that i can find uh, purchasing some bulk deals or whatever it may be but this was $44 down from a total of original RRP I think was 80 bucks yep just checking here on the side $80 so we actually have already saved a good $40 in purchasing this if you didn't realize already we are starting with a $250 budget so obviously we're already using up a little bit meaning we've only got $206 left after this uh, opening now, if I was smart, I probably would have purchased a couple of these and then tried to resell one of them. However, however, there was only one available. So I did a click and collect, went and picked it up. And uh, yeah, we're going to kick off with this. There is eight packs inside of this. And that is um, hopefully going to get us what we need to be able to either make some more money so we can put it back into the collection, put it back into the Pokemon fund, or I can actually complete some of my own sets. And we'll get into those details shortly. So here it is, as you can see for yourself, I'm going to open this up. Now, while I'm opening it up, I think the main focus for me out of this set is there is some brilliant stars. There is also some astral radiance and some lost origin. But for me, I'm not collecting Lost Origin, I'm not collecting, um, I'm not even collecting Astral Radiance, to be honest. What I am collecting is Brilliant Stars, and out of the Brilliant Stars, I actually have still a few that I need to get for myself. With <clears throat> Just getting this open. I don't even know if any of these um, promo cards are worth anything. Maybe, maybe. All right, so we're kicking off with this Darkrai V Star right here. Beautiful card, actually. Then we've also got the Darkrai V, which is obviously part of the premium collection, which makes complete sense. And then we've got the giant size card as well, which honestly, probably not really worth anything, but who knows, it might be. Uh, but what have we actually got here? We've got, um, if anyone wants a code card, go for it. That's that's all for you. Uh, what have we got? We've got the, the V Star here. We've got Lost Origins 2, Astral Radiance. We've got... Uh, three by the looks of it, four Astral Radiance, two Lost Origin, and two Brilliant Stars. So, so we're going to try and the Brilliant Star first, right? That's what we'll try and get out of this. And then after that, we're going to jump into probably Lost Origin and Astral Radiance. Now, in the Lost Origin and the Astral Radiance sense, there are some really big hitters, probably some cards that will actually get us some really good dollary dues. Now, we might not get Diddly Squat out of this. However, we will try. We will try. <laughs> First pack magic, really. So we're going to kick off with Brilliant Stars, hopefully getting one of the cards that we actually need for my collection. And, uh, well, wish me luck. All right, I've just brought this down a little bit closer so you can uh, you can see it for yourselves. Whew. Jeez, we haven't opened up um, Brilliant Stars for a long time. We've got the right here. If anyone does want the code cards, you're more than welcome to take. We've got to move one, two, three, four from the back. A bit out of practice with this. And let's go. Kicking off with <sighs> energy. Now, we have all these cards so far. Where we really, we're looking for some of the big hitters um, and, of course, the, the most expensive cards. Now, if we don't actually get any cards that I need... Well, hopefully we'll get some cards that we can sell and then I can purchase the cards that we need. And I can see that there is something there. There is something there. Here we go. All right. I don't believe we need this little fella. No, we don't. We definitely don't need him. But it's, it's a nice little hit to get for pack number one. First pack magic, actually. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve this guy up. Um, I don't think he's worth anything. If he is, I'll chuck it up on screen. There we go. Nice little start. How good is that? All right. 
All right, I'm actually pretty happy with this. <laughs> At least we're not coming out empty handed. All right, let's get into pack number two. This is for Brilliant Stars once again. Hopefully this can uh, continue on if anyone wants the code card. There you go. All right, one, two, three, four. No, there's a nice little V-Star card there. Whew. This does make me nervous. We're gonna keep it moving pretty quick just because we've got a fair bit to get through. I'm actually a bit nervous because I haven't done this for, for a while, this kind of pack opening, recording it. Here we go. All right, nothing in that. So look, we didn't get any hits that we need, but we did get some hits. All right, so we have two Lost Origin. And the cards that we're chasing in this one, well, more so than I would really like to get because obviously it's going to make us some, some dollars. Lost Origin, we have these cards can vary anywhere between $387 all the way down to $47 in terms of being the big hitters or the top three cards of this set in terms of value. Now, this is all coming from price charting at the time of this video of me recording it, which is start of April 2024. And there is actually a card in here that I would really love for myself, which is actually the Pikachu VMAX, which is TG17. It's not worth a lot, but it is a chase card of my own that I would just really kind of like to have for my own set. Um, but I'm not collecting Lost Origin at all. It's purely just a couple of cards in there that I want, which is probably mainly just the Pikachu VMAX. Um, but if we can get some of these big hitters, we'll obviously be able to make some money back from this set. I mean, from this box, but let's see. Let's do pack number one from Lost Origins. <clears throat> see if we can actually, I guess priority number one is see if we can make any money back from this box. Even though we only had to pay half price for it, it doesn't actually guarantee that we're actually still gonna make any money. So there's the code card. If anyone is interested, go ahead and you can take that. Two, three, four to the back. Whew. All right, haven't opened these type of cards for a while. Here we go. This is very nerve wracking. Slugma, Clefairy, Rosella, a champ. Not a bad card. I do like it, actually. It's very clean. All right. Looks like nothing in there for us. This this card is actually really cool. I actually really like the look of this, but that's not going to help us get to where we need to be, is it? Lost Origin, pack number two. <sighs> Jeepers. It's not looking too good at this point. Cheapest. This pack does not want to open. There we go. <clears throat> All right. If anyone's after the code card, there you go. Sorry, upside down. There you go. Code card. Four to the back. One, two, three, four. All right. Here we go. <sighs> got a little uh, energy. What do we got here? We've got ice skin, carbink. Panic mask. I'm, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Finon, Zora, Paris, Inke, Basculin, Toolbox. Oh, ooh. Gudra V Star. Now, I don't think this card's worth much either, but it is a V Star, which, you know, does tell me a good story. I'm actually going to look this up. Gudra Vista. Let's let's have a look. I'm just going to do a quick little search. Okay, it's worth nothing. Uh, I think the last one sold for a couple of bucks, so that's a bit disappointing. But uh, hey, hey, it is what it is. We've still got we've still got two hits. All right, so that's Lost Origins. We didn't get any big hitters in that, which is a bit unfortunate because there is some big hitters in there. However, we still have Astral Radiance. Maybe Astral Radiance can bring it home for us. I'm going to put them to the side. Whew. One, two, three, four. All right, we've got four packs to see if we can make some dollary dues back. <clears throat> that is the first priority. Otherwise, we're already at a loss. We already are at a loss now. So, um, Astral Radiance, we do have some pretty big hitters in this one. We've got the Machamp, which will go for about $125. We've got Starmie V, which is around a $51 card. And then there's a couple of others which are under, under the $40 mark. We're really just trying to beat that $40 mark. This could be a big flop, but... I thought it was the best bang for buck because of we, we haven't really paid too much and it was a cool set to be able to pull out as well and open for, I guess, for round number one. So here we go. Astral Radiance, pack number one, four card trick. Jeepers. All right. Let's go. Fire Energy. We have, um, yep, Little Hippo, Dark Patch, Magneton. We have uh, Bergamite, 
another little hippo. Cyndaquil. Growlithe. Very cute card. Electrode. Not, not bad. It's, I mean, it's nice, but nothing there. Nothing there. Pack number two. This is this is a bad start to the uh, Pokemon fun. <laughs> uh, Alright, here we go. There's a code card. Sorry, folks. I have already just got a little sneak peek that there is something there. I just saw the edge of it. Whether it's going to be big is the other question. Alright, here we go. Whew, wish me luck. Energy. A little Pufferfish, Kamido, Noctowl, Voltorb. I'm going to take this slow. Baskelin again. Glamau, Puccina, Swinub. <laughs> oh! Oh, okay. I mean, it's not a, it's not a crazy card, but look, it's probably not too bad. And we did get a V there as well. So, let's look up these cards right here, right now. Not much at all. Three bucks, five bucks, max. Hey, we're making some dollars back, just not a lot. I'm gonna sleeve these up. Now, for those that don't know, the the intention here is, yep, yeah, we find these cards. If we can make our money back, well, let's do it. But I mean, over time, that's the theory in the long run that we will make our money back, um, and then be able to purchase stuff from my collection that I want or need and um, not have to pay out of, you know, taking funds from anywhere else, but really starting with this $250 budget. Now these two here aren't gonna be worth much, but we can obviously list them on eBay and they will just tick over and turn over over a period of time. Um, so I am setting up an eBay store to be able to do this as well. And if you're interested in making some purchases from the um, eBay store, you're more than welcome to. Uh, no pressure, no pressure. Nice to get a couple of cards though, there we go. All right, we still have two more packs of Astral Radiance, so let's give this a go. All right, there is the code card for anyone interested. Ta da All right, one, two, three, four. I mean, we got a double hitter in that last one, so... Oh, All right, we've got Energy. we got uh, Choi. Quib Quiblava. Lamau again, Yanma, Sanub, Nicket, Patil, Patilil, Choi again, and nothing. All right. Last pack magic. This isn't looking good. Here we go. Last pack magic. There is the code card for you. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. Oh, nice little V card there. V star card. Will that, will that get us through what we need? <laughs> Probably not. Um, this is not a smart way of building a Pokemon collection. However, I think all we need to do is get a couple of hits and that, that would just give us a bit of wiggle room in the long run, but it's just taking a bit of time to get there. All right, we've got an Eevee, cute little Eevee, Heracross, Tediosa, Mantine, do what? Nothing there. Nothing there. Boom, boom, boom. So, things did not go as planned. And of course, this is all part of, <laughs> this is all part of it. Trying to uh, build the collection, building it based off making some purchases and seeing if we can resell the cards or get some big hitters to pay for it. Now, at this point, that means we're technically, I mean, we're not in, we're not in the, in the loss, but we didn't make anything in that one because we still have funds in the kitty. I'll be putting these up on eBay, seeing if we can get any sales. If anyone is interested in these cards, you can go across and make a purchase for yourself if you would like. But I think the next step from here is what are we actually going to open up next? Now, I'm going to try a few different things. Um, and again, this is just what I'm trying to do to see if we can get ahead. And uh, I don't know if anyone knows Cards by Brammers. I actually follow a lot of his live streams. They do pack openings and I just rip them and ship them kind of kind of situations. They also do pack battles and things like that. So I'm going to try my luck at one of their towers. What I'm going to do is going to purchase a couple of spots in their towers. They do these on an irregular basis or regular basis sometimes. And basically it means you pay 50 bucks a spot and you see if you can get any big hits. And basically they reveals that you've got a PSA 10 or a graded card, or maybe you've got a couple of packs, or maybe you've got some sealed stuff. A whole bunch of different random stuff. And it, put the 50 bucks in and see if we can get some money back. And then maybe we can leverage those to either sell them or maybe get some big hitters and add that back to the kitty. So that's what we'll be doing next time. I'm going to obviously make the purchase, see if I can get a recording of it, and I'll take you through what we do. 
So today we actually haven't really made any progress other than had some fun. We've opened them up. We did get one, two, three, four hits. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not complaining. I mean, out of how many packs was it? Was it eight packs? Hey, it's a, it's, it's not a bad ratio. I'm not complaining, but of course it could have, could have, could have been a lot better. So yeah, eight, po eight Pokemon packs. We did get four hits. So it's a 50, 50, not too bad, not too bad at all. So if you enjoyed this, let me know down in the comments below. Give me some feedback. What would you like to see? Is the camera angles a bit, you know, too close, whatever. I'm um, still getting into a bit of a groove of this, but as we progress down the line, I would love to hear from you. What would you do? How would you tackle this? If you had the budget, what would you be spending? How would you be spending your money to try and get the kitty up so that you can start to purchase the cards that you want? Of course, I could go out right now and purchase the cards that I want with that fund. But the idea is to use the fund, leverage it, build a bit more into the kitty, and then we can go out and start to complete some of the set. Um, if you do have any questions, comments, chuck them down below. Otherwise, you have a wonderful day. Cheers.